After days of silence from President Biden over the sometimes violent protests taking part on college campuses across the country, he addressed the nation from the White House Thursday. So let me be clear. Peaceful protest in America. Violent protest is not protected. Peaceful protest is. Dissent is essential to democracy. But dissent must never lead to disorder or to denying the rights of others so students can finish the semester and their college education. Senator Bernie Sanders, like many historians, made the following comparison. I am thinking back, and other people are making this reference, uh, that this uh, may be uh, Biden's Vietnam. I worry very much that uh, President Biden is putting himself in a position where he has alienated not just young people, but a lot of the Democratic base uh, in terms of his views on uh, Israel and this war. It's a good argument. You know, I, I never argue with history. I tell people all the time, history ought to be our teacher. Congressman Jim Clyburn was given the Presidential Medal of Freedom here at the White House Friday, a lawmaker who many think is most responsible for Biden's 2020 victory. Some of Biden's other Democratic colleagues were also honored, such as Al Gore, John Kerry, and Nancy Pelosi. The White House earlier pushed back on any comparisons to Vietnam. Joe Biden ended the longest war in American history and just succeeded in convincing both parties in Congress to make crucial investments uh, in our national security. Speaking of Vietnam-era protests, many historians are comparing the situation to 1968, though back then most of the protesters didn't wear face masks and most spoke to the media. At the White House, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox News.